Decides to swap it back right at the end there. Either way, is going to be difficult to actually deal with this, the hard mobile heart. champions in League of Legends. She just tears them to shreds, and they really just do not get to interact. But definitely a difficult task for now, though, Tolkien. Just to run out here. Of course, a perfect pillar there to interrupt the dash. Tolkien getting to get taken down. And Upset's just going to walk away, realizing it came a little bit too late to that one. Well played by the side of Fnatic. What we were saying, they probably oh. want to contest this. They'll be a bit late in the contest, but might find themselves a fight anyway. Leader, getting aggressive here, stepping forward. One bomb is going to connect Dan in the midst of the team fight, probably trying to buy a bit more space. Maddie now throwing down damage off to the backside. The suplex black and Barbado is still alive. Leader still has not found a kill. He's going to dash in anyway and try to chase this one out. But X Maddie in the midst of the team. Clean movement from the Callista to come out oh. back into that team fight, but not good enough. Dunk down just like that. Now Mouser on the hunt. They've got Promise Q on the backside. The double bombs are not going to connect. Knock up into the wall. Now Magic Feelings can step forward. That's a big source of constant damage. And now the TP coming in. It looks like Mouse want to turn this one. They see the opportunity. They smell blood in the water, but a TP response coming in from Fnatic, and now the rest of the team is arriving. Magic Field is going to find the stun, and immediately Aatrox is going to get taken out, but he's brought right back up. The chrono shift of Zillion. Promise Q, though, now the one in trouble. is going to go gold and tries to buy a bit more time. Bravado now stepping forward. Going to pull Promise Q back. One, two. I don't know if it's worth his life to steal this and get to secure the Cloud Soul, but he might try anyway. Pride stepping forward. Tolkien off to the backside. will miss the first stack of the Dark and Blade. Hits two with the second. Bravado moving into the midst of the fight, but won't get anything. Leader. Nesco caught up and locked down. Magic Felix flashing over the wall. Leader. Starting to have a heyday, taking his time in the shroud there, walking through, trying to finish off Dan. The bomb is going to tick, tick, boom, and Promise Q is going to be left standing, a little bit awkward, but still happy to have his life there. And Pride, if you lose here to Fnatic, if you misstep, if you throw away a gold lead in a way that Fnatic had been doing a lot early in the game, it could turn against you. You could be in a three-way tie for first, and Fnatic are doing the best to make that happen as Dan now walks into Tolkien. They're trying to take him down. They're trying to shred through him. And for the remaining members of Mouse, they're really in no position to respond. Tolkien. It's going to get knocked out. And Fnatic will find that pick uncontested. No Baron started. Nothing else for Mouse to do in the meantime. See now, they're going to push in. They don't have a very fast objective take, considering their AD carry is Senna, and Leader isn't even there. So you can see Leader's <laughs> looking for the giant ah, flank. They're trying though. to start the fight off. Obsessed now running away. Leader now trying to find a flank out of the backside. He flashes in. He's going to be in the midst of the entire team. The shutdown, though, already on a Jarvan, and Leader has been locked up. The knock up into the wall right as he manages to find a way out. Leader Where's the ult? For the fight, but there's the shutdown. That's going to be one. Leader now looking for the reset, but the ulti now gone. Now trying to revive off the Zillion, trying to take a bit more damage, but nobody's hitting him right now. Bravado taking his time, waiting to pull back on the face breaker. Punch through on the Haymaker, comes through. Leader just barely. Consistent threat, even when Leader managed to get the assassination oh, off, but TP. this fight is not done. 5k, he's getting lower and lower, the rest of the team going in. Promise Q does a lot of damage, they have to burn this one out. They have to be careful not to use their burst into the pit, though. It'll make it easier for Dan. Dan just wants to smite this one out. They just want to close the fight. Can they get it at the end of the day? Fnatic do secure it, but at what cost? Bravado is he going to be able to finish it. He kill Pride, the execution. Oh, Dragon's Rage, if I've ever seen it. Now I think that's it, because what happened was you saw, okay, Obsessed died to get that Cataclysm, which gave them the giant kind of aim thing to go for. But, oh, you say that. Promise Q's ulti now gone, however, Leader coming all the way down from top lane. This is an opportunity to fight without the Akali present. Fnatic still going to try to keep this one going, though. It's chaos in the mid lane as Jesko is just raining down health from the backside, but Leader's going to have a perfect flank, but it might be too little too late because his team is just dying in front of him. Three kills for the side of Fnatic. Only Jeska and Leader left standing, and Fnatic might just run down mid lane and look to end the game. Oh, if Leader goes down here, it'll be a three-way tie for first. It'll be 2-1 across the board for all three of our top teams. And Fnatic, they want to make it happen. They're not worried about that loss to Energy Pot Wizards anymore. They have learned from their mistakes. They pulled the trigger when it mattered most. They found their moment, and they made it happen. Three-way tie for first. In